Before we start the video, I'd just like to say that we started a Make Me a Coffee uh, site. People who want to tip us and want to buy us a slice of pizza, you know, we, we don't mind. You're doing pizza. Yep. You can go choose one slice, three slice, five slice, whatever slice, and so you can say something nice to us. Or just say a whole bunch of insults. We don't mind. <laughs> and if you don't want to buy us a pizza, that's fine. I can let Delta starve. No! Now on to the I video. Right now. Okay, okay. Leaves Gamer Alpha here. And Diamond Son. And we're going to take another look at the app, the uh, app image of Vortex um, Nexus Mod app. The new one, which is going to replace the old one, but this one's going to be uh, Linux compatible. Uh, there's a couple things I want to discuss. Thing. It's going to be really quick. But here's the thing. They had an update on another game they just had. As you know, when I last watched this, this video, they had Star Valley. And they had Cyberpunk. And now, they have... Baldur's Gate 3. Which is technically... Kind of useless. Yes, due to the fact it's that on the support modding. Yes, on the starter menu. Yeah. Why? Well, all you got to do is go to the main menu and then look for mod manager. Now I understand you guys think yes, this is uh there are other apps that the other mods that is not on there. Adult themes, we can't say the word because YouTube algorithm. Now, uh, yeah, you figured yeah. it out. Yeah. Uh, but, yes, you could go over and use that, and it will still install right here. You add your downloads, and you can put it right on. But, if you think about it, I understand putting Baldur's Gate in, but why don't you put something like, I don't know, Skyrim? Because uh, there's already a bunch of mods on there. Yes, but it, I'm talking about putting it on here so we can put mods on Skyrim so Linux users can do it. This is a Linux uh, um, thing. Um... Also, maybe Sims 4? Maybe... Uh... uh is it Sky... Uh, was it Sky... What was it? You already said Skyrim. No, it wasn't Skyrim. It was, uh... Oh, Starcraft? Maybe it was Starcraft. Oh, it, it's the one of the newer ones, but it, it doesn't matter. Put... Why are you put... Why are you putting... These two on here first... But not... Uh, the other ones, where it's very popular. That makes no sense right now. I know this is uh, in the alpha, and it's still working on it, but... It's in you? Well, yeah, it's me. Oh, it's still in alpha, but it should be able... You should be able to put that on there so we can mod those games. It's not that hard. But... Also, there's has been I had some issues with the Nexus mod because when you download it you have to put it on as an executable, but it wouldn't execute. This I have solved this by installing uh fuse. Just put sudo pacman fuse or whatever disco you use. If it's Ubuntu, it'd be ATP install um dnf install for fedora but i guess you just need fuse i don't know if it's just on arch because i'm on arch but it works so but then again i really don't like app image i was kind of shocked when they put app image on this but mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me to put Boulder Gate as right now. I mean, 
understandable, but still... Why aren't you putting Skyrim on? That's a very popular game! Uh, yeah, but there's also a bunch of other popular games. Well, yes. There's a bunch of other ones. But Skyrim is one of the biggest ones. It's the biggest one in the Nexus. It can... You just have to do it. But... I just feel like they're just not even trying. And I do... Mm. And this is on development. Also, they're, may, they're still working on it. So, it, so a lot of them may, may not work if you do it. But... And even if it breaks your system, which technically any app, uh, any mod you put in, it technically breaks your game anyways, technically. And if you didn't know that, um, guys, you do know sometimes uh, mods break your game and then you have to remove it. Yeah, especially if you install the mods incorrectly. Yes, you... you you know, it can break. But, you know. Yeah, you're really risking the <clears throat> functionality of your games. Technically. And even your computer, for that matter. But it's actually your own risk. Well, no. I don't think the, app, the, the mods would affect your computer. I think it more affects your game. Unless, of course, you're downloading uh, a, a virus on the app. Nah! On the uh, mods. Well, hmm? I mean, like, it, it could make sometimes you would have to go over and do a hard reset on your computer. Yeah, that sometimes does that. Of course, sometimes yeah. Alt Alt F four works, but not always. But yeah. But still, well, like, what we said, it's your own risk. It is at your own risk. I know this is going to be a short video, and maybe one day I might do a podcast about, you know, information about things. So I probably won't talk about this until I start trying to think about live streaming, which is probably won't be till next year anyway. So, and then yeah, oh, Dad's working on getting a two monitor set up. Two monitors, maybe a better um uh. Uh, power supply, bigger graphics card, we just, I won't be able to do anything. But, let's see if there's any other new things they have. Um, check, well, let's see, check sensitivity, minimal log level, debug, data usage, long console. This is experimental and may not be supported. Um, unsupported games, wait. Can you allow to manage your unsupported games? This is on an experimental. Let's see. Alright, yeah. This app needs to be restarted to apply this setting. Okay. Uh, you forgot to push the save button. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to say push the save button. Hold on, let me get the download. Login start. Ah, uh, no, I won't do login. Uh, did it work? No, it didn't. Oh, I forgot to hit. See at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I have to restart this. There it goes. So, did it turn on? Okay, enable. Unsupported games. Let's let my games. Hmm. Doesn't seem like. So do maybe remember... they don't add the games you do. Maybe. Do remember. Did, well, this is experimental. And this is. It's not. Oh, it's not currently supported. Maybe it's not working yet. Um. Even this one right here, full backup. It's still in an experimental stage, too. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess. Uh, 
Now let's just add more tabs. Wait, what is this? Add game. Adding game. Oh, it adds game to that. Okay, it's just adding the game on the onto this right here. That's all it does. So it doesn't really matter, really. Um, create a new layout. No, that, no, that's just layout B. Nope, that's done. It. I'm just checking things out, guys, to make it a little extending right here. Um, so it looks like it's more of editor tools. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Full, yeah, this. Oh, yeah, this is so full background. Yeah, huh? Less of a modding thing and more of like a debugging thing. It is. This is still in alpha, so it's it's still in development uh, in in mode. This is for use for us, but it may not work a lot of times. So I'm also not logged in. But I didn't feel like logging myself in. But this is still should view. It was weird. That's why. It, all right. Enable unsupported games. You're allowed to manage unsupported games. I don't know. Yeah, well, it says it's not currently supported yet, so. Yeah. Yeah, not currently okay. supported. Yeah. I wonder. Oh, let's check out, see what happens when I hit back up Baldur Gate. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What does it do? Where's my backup? I don't see where a backup. I wonder if I have to reset it. Let's do it one more time, and then we'll. Just one little, just one little, one little. Uh, I mean, it's turned on, I know that. But does it say if it's where it is? Backup game for, create a backup game for folder. This will greatly uh, increase the risk of uh, space usage, okay. But it doesn't tell me where exactly. Mm. That's interesting. Oh, hit view. Uh, maybe it's in here. Health check. Library. I love how it has a health, health check. check. Yeah, it checks to um, see if there's any pro issues with uh, putting the mods in. That's the new uh, interesting thing. If it was, if it tells you if it's unstable, it will tell you to. to uh... That sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. But right now, yeah, it's still. View mod folder. No, oh yeah, because I haven't selected a mod folder yet. You could also change. Looks like it should change some layers around. You can make this right here. Add some windows. Mm. Still. So it could also seem like it, you can like make your own mod. You can see where you're supposed to add games right here, but it's shaded out. So I'm thinking. It's I not accessible at the moment. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. I think it's not mm. available yet. But, I think, yeah, I think this is all we need to do now. So, what do you guys think? Um, I'm going to go over, maybe I won't, I'll do an update maybe in a couple of months, see if there's anything new. But as of right now, I still don't see the point of it because it's still the games I do own no I don't own Cyberpunk I do own Strawberry Star Valley Straw Valley not Strawberry Strawberry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go play some Strawberry <laughs> but Mac OS uh, GOG Steam Interested, but what do you guys think? Do you think this would be? Um, do you think you guys might try try it out on Baldur Gate Three? Just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.